in this laboratory in Yangming Jiao Tong University, near Taiwan's tech hub in Xinzhou. Students are learning about semiconductor technology. Nick Chang is taking his PhD and hopes to be part of the world's largest semiconductor industry. Taiwan's semiconductor industry has become so huge in recent years. The Taiwanese government has invested a lot of resources in it, as well as in schools. Throughout the pandemic, Taiwan's semiconductor sector maintained its lead, but it is now in the crosshairs of a geopolitical power play between the United States and China. If the products or the technology contain, you know, contain U.S. technology, though it's Taiwanese company and it's Taiwanese products and made here, and you have to follow the U.S. Uh, U.S. rules. The U.S. has restricted the export of semiconductor materials to China to prevent it from being able to make advanced microchips. Taiwan has followed suit. Now local companies have no choice but to adapt. Companies, uh, they have to find their own way out. Okay, otherwise they cannot survive in the markets. So they have to follow the global trend. And at the center of it all is one company. TSMC produces more than half of the world's microchips. TSMC is set to open a plant in Arizona next year. Now, one of the concerns is that its biggest client, Apple, the company that makes your iPhones, could be buying chips out of this U.S. facility and taking along with it parts of the supply chain here in Taiwan, which in turn could take a huge chunk of the island's tech revenue away. Adding to Taiwan's worries, China's import ban on Taiwanese goods. In 2021, it was pineapples. 90% of which were sold to China. The following year, Beijing blocked the shipment of fish. A day after former U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan. It's getting more and more measures and also targeting a variety of different products. But unless China stops buying Taiwanese semiconductors, analysts say the economic impact is manageable. Beijing is also likely to think twice about attacking Taiwan, they say, because semiconductors run modern devices, which are essential to modern life, including in China. Barnabilo Al Jazeera, Xinzhou, Taiwan.